Students in Dallas returning to school next week, but their school crossing guards could be gone by the end of the month. A domino effect in the shutdown of the agency that provides bus service also means an end to crossing guards. However, the Dallas City Council is fighting back with a lawsuit, and our Steve Pickett is live now to explain. Yeah, Kaylee, not just Dallas schools, but Richardson ISD and other districts. We're actually in uh, Richardson ISD right now at this intersection, although it's in the city of Dallas. Most folks may not know this. School districts don't run crossing guard programs. Police departments run those programs. That was the case in Dallas up until 2012, until the city decided to move it to the Dallas County Schools program. Remember that? That's the bus program. They now have this contract to run the crossing guards. Here's one big problem. DCS is being dissolved. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. She only needs okay. one name, Miss Alice. She's one of almost 400 school crossing guards protecting kids for school districts within the city limit boundary lines of Dallas. And as it stands today, Miss Alice's job, Wait, right along with the others, will end in February. Because we really count on people like Miss Alice. We've known her for years, and uh, it's, it's going to be uh, a real negative impact. We're going to have to raise revenue somehow. So Dallas City Council is not happy. The city's role to protect citizens includes the requirement to provide crossing guards. For the past five years, Dallas has contracted Dallas County Schools, the troubled and soon to be shut down bus agency, to take care of the crossing guard service. DCS will cease crossing guard operations by the end of the month. The city council must find another plan, but to keep DCS guards working, the city filed a temporary restraining order. The safety of the children are our priority. And what they've told us is they'd like us to come back next week with a program to be able to discuss possibly a, a, an interim or a 90 day uh, fix or a solution to allow us or buy us some more time to be able to then come back with a more permanent solution. And this is also a money problem, too. $5 million to operate the school crossing guard program. The city says they need that money. Where is that money? This court fight, and it's now going to court. A hearing is being set for January 11th regarding all of it. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.